Shalom. I want to begin this lesson by giving all praises, glory, and honor to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Kudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone at Ruel. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. I am the brother you wanted on coming from the Great Millstone Salt, Great Millstone uh, West Palm Camp, back again with another lesson. And Lord willing, it will be edifying, man. And I just want to share, you know, something that just, you know, happened to me, you know, but it's biblical prophecy, man. You know, it says in the book of Jeremiah, and let's grab that first. Okay, Jeremiah, the 51st chapter, you know, how the Heavenly Father is going to send fanners you know, to Babylon, Babylon meaning America, okay? Babylon meaning confusion, America meaning bitter, okay? And this is what the Heavenly Father is is exactly doing right now, man. You know, because, man, when you in the spirit and Lord willing, you know, and we, we be in the spirit, but you tend to notice, you know, certain things, man. You tend to notice a the spirit on other individuals, man. And I, I was just in this grocery uh, store, um, you know, just getting a few items. But, you know, the, right now they got the whole lotto. You know, I don't know if it's around the whole United States, but they got the whole, they got this lotto thing going on. And I believe it's $1.9 billion that they're giving out, man. And, man, it, it, you could just see the spirit on um, hey, these, the, uh, the people that was in the grocery store. You had Jake in there. You had Esau in there, man. And it was just, it was a demonic energy, man. You know, you could see Jake was on edge. You could see not just Jake, but, you know, you could see the people in the world were on edge, man. You know, because, hey, things are not getting better. They're getting worse, man, as far as the economic system, you know, as far as the dollar concerning gas is starting to go back up, man. Food prices are still rising. You know, so nothing has changed, but, hey, Jake is still going on in their day as if things are getting better, but things are only getting worse, man. Okay, so again, Jeremiah, the 51st chapter, it says how the Heavenly Father was send fanners against Babylon, man. You know, and let me get my charger up and running, man, because. Hold on. You know, I seen a few little articles, titles from the end time headlines. And, you know, I wanted to grab them, you know, and let's see. Okay, we on. And one that I did see was the shortages that you've been warned about is coming, you know, and not only are they coming, but they're already here, man. All right. Hey, the spirit of Yahweh Bashamal Shah hey, is heavy upon the earth, man. Okay. Why? Because hey, we are at the end. The end of Esau Edom's age, man. Let's get um age going into rulership, right? Let's get uh second Ezra, the ninth chapter. Second Ezra chapter nine, verse one. It says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest, and when thou seest parts of the sign pass, which I told thee before. Then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will be will begin to visit the world which he made. Okay, so the heavenly Father is visiting the world, and how is he visiting this place by prophecy, man? Okay, not only is the mass awakening happening, man. All right, the knowledge that hey, you are an Israelite going out on all these social media platforms is biblical prophecy as well, man. Because via through the unicorn, which is the internet, and hey, this is how this word is going to be pushed out, man. Okay, and we had our apostles and elders, you know, and brothers down, a hey, pushing this word word for thirty for thirty years, man. Okay, so it says how we have entered into other man's labor. All right, and the labor. You know, is a the fruit um, is starting to come, you know. So I just wanted to get that how a the heavenly father is visiting the world which he made, man. All right. And this is second Ezra chapter six. Let's see. Chapter six, verse 18. And it said, behold, the days come that I will begin to draw nigh. 
and to visit them that dwell upon the earth. All right. So that's what the heavenly father is doing. He's visiting are right, those that dwell upon the earth, man. OK, so just like in the time and when we were under the Egyptian captivity, the exodus, the first exodus. All right. How did the heavenly father a uh, show forth his power, show forth his uh, the power of his magnitude? OK, by plaguing them, man, you know, plaguing the Egyptians. So it's the same thing how the Heavenly Father is going to do here in uh, uh, spiritually Sodom in Egypt, which is Babylon the Great, which is America. All right. He's going to show forth his power and by plaguing this place, man, just like from the plagues of old, man. And it speaks about that in Second Ezra, the 15th chapter, man. All right. But um, I said I wanted to get Jeremiah, man. And let's go ahead and get it before I forget. Jeremiah chapter 50, uh, Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 1, and it reads, Thus said the Lord, Yahweh, behold, I will raise up against Babylon, okay, Babylon meaning America, and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me, a destroying wind, and that destroying wind is speaking about those missiles, man, all right, those ICBM nuclear missiles, man. ICBM meaning intercontinental, okay, intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBM, that's right, all right, and that, that, that's what it's speaking about, man, and that's what's going to happen to Babylon the Great, it's not speaking about wind, all right, right now, where I'm at, it's real windy right now, okay, but that's not what it's talking about, again, it's talking about the missiles, verse 2, and will send unto Babylon fanners, Okay, fanners are going into food shortages, man. Hyperinflation, inflation, many more, a many more things to come. That dollar, you know, ultimately crashing. All right. It says, I will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her and, and shall empty her land. So again, second Ezra, the sixth chapter. What does it say? How the heavenly father is going to visit them that dwell upon the earth, man. And how is he visiting this earth? Via, by, through his prophecies, man. All right. And if you could just only, you know, sense the spirit that was in that grocery mark, uh, grocery store, man. It was like Jake was on edge, man. So it's only in a, it's only in a matter of time where the heavenly father is going to shake this shit, man. You know, bring out another pestilence, you know, shut this thing down completely again, man. Something is brewing, man. Okay. But this is all biblical prophecy again. All right. So um, let's see. And hopefully I'll remember to put these links in the bio. But basically, OK, it's speaking about, you know, shortages on Adderall, shortages on food, shortages, uh, shortages on insulin, shortages on basically everything that, you know, people need in their day to day, man. OK, and this was not the only thing that I seen. All right. I seen something else. OK, in the end time headlines, <laughs> you know, whoever runs this place. Hey, man, you know, if you were Israelite, repent, because it's many. It's a lot of informative stuff on this stuff, man. OK, look at this. It says most America, most Americans no longer view the Bible as the primary primary determinant of right and wrong all right you see and this is through esau edom man esau edom himself wants to be the most high man that's why he's going to be taken out the way man and the heavenly father is about to do away with this damn uh with this damn devil man you see this is the spirit the elder apostle gabar made a lesson the bible written for the worthy and the unworthy and this is the spirit we speaking about the scripture right here man so many americans really many babylonians and a two-thirds of our people hey they don't look for the bible as right or wrong man and the reason that they don't is because of esau edom has polluted their minds really is the old really is the heavenly father but esau edom has a has given them that spirit of alexander crowley man do as thy will you know if you want to be a woman be a woman if you're a man if you're a man i mean if you're a woman and you want to be a man be a man okay if you want to sleep around with 
thousands of men do it. If you if if a, if a man wants to be effeminate, go ahead and do it, man. All right. Let's see. If they're still on that Jeremiah the fifty first chapter, this is why the heavenly Father is gonna destroy this place, man. Doesn't it say in the book of Amos how the eyes of the Lord, the eyes of the Lord, be in the chariots with this world so called calls UFOs? Okay. Let's see. Let me get it. The book of Amos, the ninth chapter, in the A verse, it says, "Behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom." Okay, and that sinful kingdom, you know, speaking about a hey, the land of Israel, all right, which we were, you know, cast away from that land, all right, but it could be applicable to Babylon the Great, man, because what is sin? Sin is the transgression of the law of the heavenly father, okay? So what does Babylon promote? Babylon promotes sin, and the eyes of the Lord are upon this sinful kingdom, man. And it says, and I will up and I will destroy it. From off the face of the earth How is the heavenly father going to destroy this place With those ICBM nuclear missiles man Alright Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob Said the Lord Alright Meaning that the elect of the nation of Israel As well as the one third Are going to receive salvation From the destruction Meaning they're going to be beamed up man It says in first, uh, first Corinthians the 15th chapter In the twinkling of an eye man so as those missiles are going down, the elect are going to get beamed up. This is biblical prophecy, man, All right, which is going to happen, all right? Whether you people believe it or not, speaking for the unbelievers, you know, for these different nations, man, you know? And um, let's see, man. I want to get this Jeremiah, man, you know? Lord willing, this lesson is edifying, man. Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 3. Okay, it's going going again, speaking about those missiles. All right. Uh Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 3. Against him that bendeth, let the archer bend his bow. All right, meaning that hey, there's many different nations are that, that are gonna come against a Babylon the Great, one nation in specific. Let's talk about uh, the Medes, all right, which are the Russians. All right, yesterday we were going at it, we were going into this at camp. How there's going to be World War Three, man. World War Three is brewing. All right. And who is leading that charge? OK, who's leading that charge is the Medes, man. You know, you got Putin. You have his a uh, 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 second hand. I believe his name was uh, uh, something of destruction. Man, I wish I remembered it. But just to show you. All right. So against him that bend it, let the archer bend his bow and against him that lifted himself up in his Brennig 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 Brick Adon, and and spare ye not her young men, dest destroy utterly all her hosts. Okay, and what is a precept to that, man? How when these me's come over here, hey, they ain't gonna have no mercy upon the young men or or or, or the woman, man. What is that, Isaiah? Um, Isaiah the thirteenth chapter. Let's see. Bear with me one second. There it goes. It's right here. This is Isaiah chapter 13, uh, starting at verse 16, and it says, Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes, their houses, their houses shall be spoiled, and their wives ravished. Okay? So many people don't think that this is gonna happen, man. Hey, and it says what? Verse 17, behold, I will stir up the meads against them. Against who? Hey, these Babylonians, man. Which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Meaning there's not going to be no persuasion, or there's not going to be no um, 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 uh, bargaining, or you're not going to be able to buy your way out of this thing, man. Their bowls, meaning what? Bowls meaning missiles. Also, 
shall dash the young man to pieces and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. All right. So just to show you again, Jeremiah chapter 51, verse three again against him that bended, let the archer bend his bow and against him that lifted himself in his bring a don and spare ye not her young men destroyedly all whole hosts hosts going into what armies you got many different armies that got what nuclear they have what they have those icbm nuclear uh a uh, 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 destruction all right you uh you have what you have uh iran you have china you have north and i believe south korea as well as russia okay and all and if i'm not mistaken you know, the majority of them are against Babylon, man. All right. So it's just to show you that hey, these are the times that we in, man. The Lord is about to do this, man. All right. So that's why it's very important. Hey, man, to seek the Lord while he still may be found, man. It's very important hey, to stay in the spirit. All right. That a hey, pray to your how about your that you hey, stay inside of this circle, man. Cause hey, You don't want to be caught outside this thing, man. You know, it, you know, we kind of going all over the place in this lesson and I'm not going to make it, you know, I'm not going to make it uh, too long, man. You know, and I think, let me see, man, a point is made, you know, I really just wanted to come in this lesson and, you know, bring out that a, a, a the Lord is about to do something, which we all know he's already doing something, man. But a, the spirit that was on those individuals in that grocery store. All right. Hey, they were on edge. You know, it was really a, a a wicked spirit on that, man. Many Jake trusting in this thing, man. So it's only one more, you know, situation for everything to go left, man. And boom, Jacob was trouble right there, man. So, hey, Lord willing, it was edifying to the next time, giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rechah, Kedash, double honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that Ruel, peace and blessing unto the elect. Till next time, Shalom. Ababa, come ya shala, shala